Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick overview of two of the latest flight controller and stacks from Holybro or Holybro, depending on how you want to say it. Now I have a lot of stuff in my spares bin from Holybro and I fly the Coppice Mini regularly. It's a beautiful little quadcopter. A lot of people tend to forget that Holybro make flight controllers, ESCs, and actually a very nice video transmitter as well. So I thought, as I've just got these two latest things in, let me show you them and remind you that this stuff is kicking around. Particularly at the moment, it can be tricky to get your favorite flight controller if you're not using one of these. Product supply is a little bit patchy and tricky. You might even see other manufacturers actually shutting down some of the construction of some of the popular flight controllers. So let me go through these as well. Uh, links down below. The nice thing is about these is these are aimed uh, the Kikuti F4 Mini and the Kikuti F4 version 2.3, which is actually what this thing is, are aimed at those people who want value for money. Uh, so these are a little bit cheaper than some of the other options that they've got. And they've interfaces to connect directly to the DJI Air units, so it makes them better for builds where you need that. And uh, let me go through each of them in turn. And first of all, I think we'll talk about this one. Again, this is a stack, so it can either be the Kikute, Teco, and Atlatl. Uh, we'll talk about each of those. They love to call all their products using eight, the names of ancient weapons. Uh, they've always done this at uh, Hollybro. So if you're wondering where all the names come from, if you put them into a Google search, you'll find that they're usually like types of ancient sword or something. But if I open this up, this is what it looks like. So we have the stack itself. We'll go through the specs in a minute. Uh, it has the ESC at the bottom, flight controller in the middle, and the Atlatl um, video transmitter at the top. It's really nicely thought out because you have all the spacers and everything already in here. We have the flying lead, we have a ton of cables for different things, connecting the individual parts of the stack together, but also connecting out to other things as well. A capacitor, you're gonna need that. I'd install it anyway, but you're definitely gonna need that if you run it on 6S. And the final bag of cables for all the different things that you need. In terms of the stuff that's in here, this is an F4 based flight controller, five hardware UARTs, I squared C pins, onboard data flash, and then at the bottom we have a 35 amp speed controller capable of 3 to 6S. Again, if you're running 6S, you are going to have to install the supplied capacitor. And then the Atlatl on the top that will run anywhere from half a milliwatt up to 800 milliwatts, running the standard. MMCX connector, which is great. Now I really like the Atlatl video transmitter. I've got them in lots of different places. Uh, you can either set it up and program it all using smart audio, or you have all these little mini LEDs on the side, and you can change everything with a button press. And because it kind of takes the standard MMCX connector on here, I tend to use them in things like fixed wings with the Menisarsi Aeropod. They just perform really nicely, but I love the way that all the spacers are in here and you've even got the little spacer for the bottom so that you have the ESC off the uh, frame of your quad and you're going to get cooling all the way around. Great little stack for 20 millimeter builds. All you need to do is add your camera, video transmitter, receiver, four motors and a frame and you've got a quadcopter. Next one to talk about then is this thing here. This is the latest version of the Kikute. Uh, this is the version 2.3. It's only just gone up on the website. It's been on there for about a week. And this is what it looks like. So you get the flight controller. Uh, we'll go through the specs in a moment. Very similar to the mini that we've just looked at on that stack. A uh, bunch of cables and soft mounts as well. And then lots of cables to connect to other stuff as well, which is really cute. Now on here, uh, again, it has five hardware UARTs. It has a six pin JST GH connector that takes you up to the DGI VTX. It has BL Heli pass-through for easy ESC upgrade and configuration, all the standard stuff that you want. Input range for the voltage is seven to 42 volts and it's standard mounting. So 30.5 millimeter mounting. I squared C pins on here again. So again, you can connect things like an external compass, but a good solid 
little board here if you are looking for something for your next build. So there we have it, two of the latest things from Holybro, or Holybro, again, depends how you want to say it. Uh, this stack, again, links below, and the new Kakute F4 version 2.3, uh, both really nice choices, and I use this stuff a lot. It's the reason that I have so much of it kicking around. It just works, and it's nice to see them offering these kind of lower cost options for pilots that don't have tons and tons of cash to spare. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.